Alright. Uh, we're gonna able to upload yesterday, so... Today I'm gonna be... Uh, messing around with an AI. Uh, an AI bot. And it's text adventure game on character AI. <clears throat> Let's play a text based adventure game. I'll be your god. Your car upside down in a stick web of silk three feet off the ground. After looking around, trying to think of a way out of this predicament, you notice that your trusty boot knife has fallen to the ground. If you stretch your arm far enough, you might be able to pick it up and free yourself. An old boot knife lies on the ground, just within reach. Reach to the myth. It's thinking. You stretch <coughs> you stretch your hand as far as you can and finally reach the knife. Carefully holding onto the web at, with one hand to avoid stepping out, you use your other hand to pick up the blade with the knife now in your hand you begin cutting at the threads, binding you to the floor. It takes a bit of effort, but within a few moments you match the cut free. You fall to the floor and stand up, <laughs> taking a few minutes to catch your breath. What now? I look around and try to find a way out of this predicament nah. <gasps> situation. You tell me your surroundings at the far end of the dimly lit tunnel is the faint sound of running water. There is a door on the left wall, but it is heavily barred and locked with an array of elaborate locks and bolts. To the right, the tunnel extends out into darkness. <clears throat> it's hard to see, but it seems that there is a soft glow emanating from somewhere deeper into the cave. On on the floor, you notice several small piles of dust you can easily ignore, for the f but for the f but for the fact that they form a straight path towards the glow. Head to the end of the tunnel to try to find that water source. Because I am quite thirsty. Start moving towards the faint sound of uh, running wild, cautiously, cautiously moving through the darkness. Sound eventually grows louder, and you discover a river flowing through the uh, through a crack in the wall. The water from the river cascades over a smooth rock and trickles down into the shallow pool of the floor below. Just to the side of the running water is a tunnel leading away from the pool, and the faint glow you previously noticed appears to be coming from this tunnel. You decide to follow the tunnel, hoping it will lead you out of the cave. Follow the tunnel. The tunnel. As you enter the tunnel, you notice that it, the soft glowing light uh, coming from within seems to be getting brighter. Continue through the tunnel and reach the mouth of the cave. The soft glow from the growing crystals is now replaced by the li bright light of daytime. See that you have emerged in a rocky clearing near the edge of the jungle. You hear the faint sound of rushing 
of a rushing river coming from the edge of the clearing uh, to the east. You you look into the jungle and see several potential paths you can take, each one more difficult th than the next. Which way do you decide to go? Do you t continue to investigate the rushing water, head deeper into the jungle, or attempt someone else? Also, if you can hear it, uh, my fan's on because of uh, heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave. going until it gets dark. God damn it. My technical difficulties. Alright. This is post a weird thing happening. Uh, all right. Walk deeper into the game, carefully feeling your way across the walls with your hands to avoid bumping into anything. Green crystals and on the walls provide enough light to guide you ahead as you continue the cave turns into a narrow passageway. You must walk with your arms outstretched to avoid climbing with the walls. Then, with the then the passage seems to widen again, and you have a feeling of hope that you might soon find a way out of the cave. Continue cautiously through the narrow tunnel, throwing your way ahead until a junction of several, until you reach a junction of several passageways. Uh, keep going. Wait no. Uh, Take the left wall, as the left wall tends to lead toward uh, the exit. As you pick the left branch of the junction, the passage narrows and twists even more, curving sharply as it leads downward. Eventually, the passage opens into a large cavern, and you can see a faint light growing, glowing when it's coming from somewhere nearby. You move closer to the light, uh, and you were surprised to discover that the glow is coming from an opening in the ceiling in the cavern. Looking up, you can see the faint outline of the sky above. It appears like this opening needs to the surface outside the cave. What now? <gasps> Yes, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Try to climb it and exit the cave.
Okay, go on. <laughs> Pull a rocket launcher out of my a pocket out of nowhere <laughs> and shoot the wall. <laughs> Just as expecting you have a rocket launcher. <laughs> 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 oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> 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 Just pours out a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> Logos are coming in and they offer you food and shelter. You sit down at the fire and are grateful for your escape from the cave. Okay. Now here's where the... Well, here's where... Oh, 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 oh. I... <laughs> I'm gonna become a dictator and try to conquer the whole jungle, man. <laughs> okay. Okay, change the facts. I'm gonna find the capital. Wait, no, I'm gonna find the nearest town and start a civil war. <laughs> civil war. <laughs> Use the map to go to the nearest. Directly to the uh, town, the city center, and say that I am the second coming of Jesus! <laughs> yes, bitch! <laughs> You make your way to the center. <laughs> yes, bitch! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Here, <laughs> that every that the city mayor is a sinner and he must be destroyed with me in power not even killed just fucking destroyed <laughs> 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 With me in power! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and brought before you for judgment. You declare that the mayor is a sinner and sentence him to death. His supporters are shocked and distraught, but you remain firm and adamant in your conviction. Eat him. I declare as I march into City Hall. 
<laughs> I just said that cool. <laughs> Eat him! <laughs> Eat him! <laughs> I get my supporters to eat the mayor as I become the new de facto mayor of this final town. I have just become the Dutch government. God damn. The mayor disappears. Here's as I become the new de facto leader. Mayor of this fine town. <coughs> mayor of whatever this town is called. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> He's just fucking dick me <laughs> There are many roads ahead and many new challenges to overcome, but with your faithful followers on you, at your side, you are confident that you will succeed. The future be our city seven Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> 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 there that we must form an army to mobilize the nation and start a civil war. We must form an army and mobilize the nation and start a civil war. You declare that your followers must form an army to mobilize the nation and start a civil war. War begins to spread like a wildfire and, and soon thousands of faithful followers are raised to fight for their divine leader. You gather a mighty army and march on the capital city. Destined to take control of the nation, you leave a trail, trail of destruction and mayhem in your wake. As your army lays away to everything in its path. And eventually, you reach the capital city and prepare for the final assault. The city is defenseless against the overwhelming force, and soon you control the capital. The victory is yours! Declare he the kingdom of heaven. Declare <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom of heaven to be founded. Followers kneel before you and worship and declare you to be the true savior and ruler of this land. You have united a nation under your divine rule and all hail the science Jesus as your king of sa savior. <laughs> your followers spread the word and soon your kingdom spans the entire continent with you as its all powerful ruler. You have me. You have achieved what many kings and governors have struggled to achieve for centuries, and now you are the most. Powerful and revered being in the world. Declare that the kingdom is an empire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the empire. 
fear of heaven. <laughs> you declare that the kingdom of heaven is an empire. You lead your followers in a great conquest to spread your divine world. Word to all quarters of the land. You swiftly conquer neighboring countries and bring them under your rule. Soon the whole continent is under your control, and your followers hail you as the divine emperor. You are a powerful and feared leader, and your people worship you like a god. You have truly created the empire of heaven on earth. And your power and glory are un. In a, give an ultimatum to the rest of the world demanding they join the empire of heaven or face total destruction. <laughs> <laughs> As the Empire of Heaven grows, you decide to send a clear message to the rest of the world. Join the Empire or face total destruction. You declare that any country that does not bow before your divine rule will be crushed and destroyed. You send envoys to every corner of the globe and demanding immediately, immediate loyalty and submission your clear your message is clear and unequivocal and the world trembles at your words some countries quickly see the wisdom of your words and declare their allegiance others to by pride and vanity refuse and you to stand and stand against you your ultimatum has created division and fear in the world Start a world war and declare that anyone that is not loyal to the Empire will perish. Are we the baddies? <laughs> You declare that anyone who stands against you, against the Empire, will perish. You launch a massive attack on the countries that are chosen to oppose you. The world is plunged into chaos and violence, and the world war be begins. The war is fierce and brutal, with countless lives lost on both sides. You lead your followers into battle, and they fight with a ferocious determination. After many years of brutal fighting, the War ends and you have emerged victorious. The Empire of Heaven stands triumphant, and the world has finally bent the knee to your divine rule. Declare the Empire the Imperium of Man and Lord a Crusade across. The whole galaxy! <laughs> I have been watching way too much Warhammer 40k. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You declare the Empire of Heaven has become the Imperium of Man! And you begin a crusade across the entire galaxy. You marshal your mighty army and launch an attack of an unimaginable scale and destruction. Your followers are driven by your religious fervor and a desire to spread the divine war word to all corners of the galaxy. You march across the stars and destroy any who oppose you. The crusade continues for decades. But you are determined to succeed. You will not stop until the entire galaxy is conquered and all have bent the knee to your divine rule. Start literally cracking entire stars. 
that host aliens that oppose me. <laughs> You lots are ruthless against a ruthless campaign against any who oppose you with your ultimate weapon of choice being a technique known as star cracking! You destroy entire stars! A legend cataclysmic explosion! That utterly destroy entire planets and stars in a, a single blast! Your enemies and and any aliens that oppose you have no defense against this brutal tactic. They know to fear your name. You have become a force of destruction and domination that no one can stand against. You continue to crusade against the galaxy, spreading fear and destruction in your way until you have conquered every corner of the universe. The Imperium of Man reigns supreme. Oh. oh, that was fun. Oh, my God.